this is one of those vlogs that I do for the future here <laughs> as crazy as it sounds I probably won't even release this anytime soon but I don't know if you guys follow Ray Kurzweil he's a futurist and inventor he's one of the guys who brought you the Kurzweil like uh, MIDI gear and uh, keyboard stuff it's which is sort of really prevalent when you do audio stuff you have to learn all the keyboard technology and it's a whole deal but uh, there's a anyway there's a thing that's extremely interesting that I think is what the thing is oh that's wicked um, right I'll post an amazing UFO um, and that's uh, in future theory is uh, uh, simulation hypothesis or simulation theory and what that is is that and it sounds like a huge reach but it's really not once you study all this stuff um, you can't see me it doesn't matter but um, you know once you can uh, study computer science and physics and all of this stuff it really you know the highest levels both actual and theoretical simulation theory is that uh, we are actually a uh, um, a race of beings that lives inside of another like super intelligent being simulation in a computer and that sounds like a huge reach but you really don't have to can think all that much about it to uh, to get to make that reach you know to make that connection and what's happening is uh, I'm just gonna futurize for a minute um, but what's happening is uh, Oh, there's fucking Mike the junkie. <laughs> Mike the fucking oxy addict who lives off the government and preaches his, like, bullshit to everybody. <laughs> but, um, anyway, in the not-too-distant future, it's now February 5th of 20, the year 2013. Within, oh, in the not-too-distant future... I foresee a time when uh, there will be, uh, we'll all be, have computers implanted in us that are in our clothes or both in everything, tiny nano computers. Uh, and I think all disease will be cured by genetic engineering and uh, nanobots and, and man and machine merging. But uh, we'll all have computers. Uh, implanted in us and in our clothes or wherever microcomputers on us that carry the complete history of our lives in audio and video both in at, from every angle and uh, 24 7 probably since before birth and some of those lives will be made public and other people will watch It, YouTube is sort of the beginning of this type of voyeurism or whatever you want to call it or life experience and uh, other people will watch those uh, those people who make their lives public on a neural net in other words there will be like a super internet everybody will be connected to 24 7 and as they're recording more data some people will make their data publicly available every angle every aspect of their lives or some of it will be blocked out just select parts maybe but they will become superstars billions of other people will watch certain people who knows who or why just so average ordinary people and uh, they will become superstars among superstars and everybody will know the names of a few of those people you know maybe thousands of them but there will be a lot of stars but some of them will be super superstars all this stuff really I probably I won't put it in my regular vlog because it's uh, most people can't even begin to go there 
but it's so simple for me now. I see it so easily, and uh, it's just a fact, you know. It's just like I said something about theoretical uh, physics, or not even theoretical. I said something factual about thermodynamics in the future the other day, and somebody said, "Oh, I can't believe you guys believe this stuff," and it was like, uh, um. It's not even up for grabs, it's just a fact, you know, but that some people's mind, my mind couldn't go there for the longest time. But, um, there's that, and there's, uh, you know, the, the people, some people will be superstars, will have those things in plan, and that'll be the first phase of the new sort of world, you know, people, and then you'll have the ability to turn off your, uh, Oh, a viewer will have the ability to turn off their own sensations and live a life through a surrogate and sense and feel everything that surrogate feels. Um, you know, in other words, you'll be able to shut off your own motions and taste and smell and sight and, and with nanotechnology and route somebody who's living somewhere else, another life, all everything they feel, hear, see, smell, touch, taste, will be routed into your uh, consciousness and a lot of people will, will just uh, tend to uh, stay shut off all the time and live other people's lives because for a lot of different reasons, obvious reasons. And then the other thing that will happen is eventually all of those things, the essence of souls, of who people are, it's so obvious now, you know, all of this, it's, it's not even crazy talk, will be, uh, I've got a new solid state drive coming, which sort of reminded me of some of these things, or brought it to the fore, but, um, your entire existence, every thought you ever had, everything will be able to be stored and uploaded and stored forever, and, uh, you can live, you could choose to live over and over or one permanent life in many different vessels or, you know, robotic bodies or, uh, you know, perfectly healthy, genetically engineered and genetically born and raised bodies, basically empty bodies waiting to hold your, and you think this stuff is far out, it's not, we're within a hundred years of all of this. Technology is exponential. The, the 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 hard drive that I ordered, I have a SSD drive coming on, just a 512 gig solid state drive. It'll make my stuff about twice as fast and easy. Is uh, that that's millions of times more powerful than my first computer. Um, and technology doubles about every year exponentially. So as per the price of storage, as per the price of speed, as per the price per basically mag of computing. Uh, that potential doubles in the price plummets every year as far as price per mag of computing. Let's just call it a mag per megabyte. Really it's per gigabyte. My first hard disk was one gig and I paid three thousand dollars for it. I now have a, uh, I bought a two thousand gigabyte drive for around a hundred dollars two years ago. So, the price has plummeted, and the speed has gone up thousands, if not millions, of times. Um, and it'll continue. It's, it's technology's done that for the last hundred years or so and we'll continue to do that you know but we're you know for me all of this stuff's so obvious now the way technology marches along pretty soon people within 50 years people will be able to live forever aging will be mapped out of the genetic process just as simple as turning off a few markers and the stuff that our body does is efficient but not all that efficient in some ways so 
stuff that our blood does that nanobots could do better and are already and will and um, you know uh, it's the kind of thing also where if you start it's already begun the merger of man and machine but you know if you replace like just a few cells in a person's brain with nanobots you know and they don't notice the, the entity doesn't notice at some point that body will be completely replaced by machine you know engineered parts synthetically engineered machine parts and the, the the entity will still not notice and think that it's still alive when actually it's consciousness is life and it is alive technically but just not the way it was before I love futurizing I think in the end they talk about I've never heard this mentioned I think in the end uh, that there will be a single consciousness out of all of the data files being merged there will be like one super mega consciousness that appears out of everyone's data file being merged all into one and uh, at that point It's sort of like where you have the human mind can, can't really consider forever. At that point, I don't know. It'll either be complete war or complete harmony. I'd like to... I think it'd be very useful for married couples to be able to disconnect your feelings emotional, physical, mental, spiritual, all everything a person feels to sort of put that person, you know, be able to disconnect your own and plug into another person and know what it is actually like to be them and feel what they feel. That's what we're trying to do with all of this anyway, with music and with art. We're trying to make other people feel what we feel. Show them how we feel. I know that's what I try to do a lot. And it's clumsy now, but it won't be for long. That'd be good for married couples, it'd be good for doctors, it'd be good for everybody to experience what everybody else is experiencing. Some people will have millions of fans because they'll have exceptional the ability to experience things in an exceptionally thrilling way. And that will spread around the globe virally. It might even get to the point where just like viral video one person has such you know a compelling ability to feel and to sense life in such a thrilling way that millions hook into that one person and maybe everybody eventually and there will be a lot of false alarms I think too where it's just like viral video it's not that great but because it, it's being passed around it gets passed around you see what I mean it's just like music it's not that some's not that good but because people buy it people buy it just for out of curiosity but there probably will be what some point of viral consciousness the entire planet hooks in and, and monitors one person because they have such a thrilling ability to perceive life I think it'd probably be a young woman. Everybody likes to sort of sink their fangs into young girls, you know. They're the, the juiciest child bearers, have the most vivid imaginations. Men want to fuck them up, women want to be them. The most vivid lives, the most emotional. It'll probably be a young woman. I'll be dead within a year. It's February 2013. My health is rapidly deteriorating. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I've been trying to uh, um, sort of make a record that I even existed at all through through my music and my videos and skills and stuff and uh, I know now I, I now know 
why the Egyptians built the pyramids. They wanted to leave a record of this thing that, that we all perceive as being oh so unique and special. And maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I think mine has been, but I think everybody feels that way. But I've been trying to show people what I experienced here. Almost desperately, obsessively, because I know I'm not going to live much longer. And I just don't want it all to be wasted. And I've had such an, a kick-ass experience. I just don't want it to be lost forever. And within probably to 2013, within 20 to 30 years from today, technology will exist where I don't have to die. I'm so close to it, but I'd be 79 then. Of course, engineering, I'm already becoming senile and feeble. Genetic engineering will exist soon where you could a person would grow younger at 10 times the rate they grew older every day growing younger young again is there a master creator a master plan a god I think so, but not as not something as ugly as religion defines. I'll upload this and shoot it for like ten years from today, maybe. You have to be careful what you say now because people are still sort of in the dark ages about all this stuff. Of course, Google's going to be broke up and split up, and it'll have to be. As the world becomes more computer hip, they'll see that these vultures are are manipulating reality, economic reality especially, to their advantage, unfairly. God, it's great to be able to talk and express yourself without having a bunch of like people who just are not even anywhere near on your level going, well, what about this? And I think this. It's like, who gives a fuck? You're just some idiot, you know? That's been my own fault for entertaining idiots. You need support in life and friendship, but there's a whole lot of idiots and assholes around that they just want to interject their bullshit without ever stopping and thinking maybe their shit isn't worth even being entertained. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> and I know I should be one to be talking on that level, but I know what I'm talking about. Most people don't. Yeah, that's that. 1833.